right, well, this is the swamp farm, as we call it, um, because this down right in here is a swamp. Uh, so, I've just spent the last two hours trying to disc, disc it and had mild success. Um, well, for one, this disc is a piece of shit and doesn't cut worth a damn. Uh, not heavy enough. And there's just so much, well, there's just so much material on the ground that wasn't helping either. And then it was so wet that I had to have it in four-wheel drive and there's still water standing part on it. So, uh, I gotta go get the 6310 and the loader bucket. I gotta put some rock down there in a cross and for a tile of that because I like to never made it across. So we'll be back. All right, so it took two bucketfuls to fill it, fill this up. But I'm telling you, it was, let's see, it was every bit of my kneecap deep right there. And I'm 5'10", so that's a good couple feet. So I, would, I wouldn't be able to get the planter across this, so. I just went and got two bucket loads of rock and smoothed it out and that'll be that. So this worked up real nice. This little piece right in here. Uh, dissed it one way and then I dissed it another time. So that's twice over. And that's real That's real good. That worked up real good. Hit that with the comb mulcher and that'd be good. But over here is a different story. Uh... This, this is split up so weird. Um, water is standing right there. Now this is, this is starting to dry up pretty good. Kind of surprising me. But I couldn't, I couldn't get in there with the tractor because I made one round and I had the disc in the ground and it just sank. I almost didn't make it out with the tractor. Running four wheel drive and everything. So, I mean, right there, you can tell it's wet right there. So, I don't know. I don't know. This, that disc does a terrible job, as you can tell right there. Um, but like I said, I didn't even try this right here. I mean, you can tell it's moist. But, I mean, we're good till next Thursday. Today's Saturday. And it's supposed to be in the mid 90s all week. So I'm hoping getting this busted open, see there's water, there's the sprayer tracks right there. And there's combine ruts in here too. So I couldn't even, I couldn't even do anything there. So anyway, I'm gonna let this sit for, and then there's a little U shape right there. And then there's a five acre field on the hill so this is the last year we've got this farm anyway, so it'll kind of be a good thing, maybe, because this ain't really never produced anything. This has just been a keep it clean, you can do whatever you want type of deal here. So, but like, like I said, there's 10, 13 acres right around there on this farm and that's all we got left to plant so hopefully middle of the week but like i said i'm gonna let this sit today i may come back tomorrow evening sunday and try to disc again just to see if i could get closer there but other than that i'm gonna let it sit for a couple days and then i'll run the coal mulcher over it and then plant the damn thing so we can be done so that's what's going on here. Catch y'all later. All right, I figured I'll put this in with the uh, disking of the swamp farm. I'll hopefully put that up tonight. Oh, so that's the last of the beans. I put them, there wasn't a whole lot left in there and I just split it up between, what is there, 15 boxes? Yeah, 15. And that should, I should wrap it up. Like I said, there's only like 
12, 13 acres, something like that. It's not an exact acre because I may have to leave a little bit of it. So, I need to. Uh, those boxes are empty. That one's empty. That one's empty. I need to switch this thing right here. Uh, let me. What is that? That is a 28. So I need a 29. Right? To. plant less I need a bigger sprocket yeah okay let me change that real quick 